दिस इज एन अलाइनमेंट रिंग एंड दीज टू आर अगेन सेंटरिंग सो दिस इज एन एडजस्टमेंट टूल कम्स अ सेंटरिंग डिवाइस दिस इज ऑल्सो फॉर सेंटरिंग ऑफ द मेमरीन सो इन एन इमर्शन सेल फर्स्ट यू विल हैव टू एड द ऑइनमेंट फर्स्ट so again we we add excess ointment than what is necessary and then we scrape off uh the excess we again take a membrane and place it just gently on the ointment we then take the washer and place it on the membrane and post the washer we screw on the alignment ring so at this point of time we don't tighten it uh, all together just till it's uh, we we get some resistance and then what we do is we put the centering device from the top and then we have this adjustment tool basically so we just turn the adjustment tool a quarter of an inch and then tighten the alignment ring further so uh, this is how so the membrane that you can see it at, it is at the center of the immersion cell and this is how similarly in a similar fashion we'll prepare all the six uh, immersion cells so this is how uh the peak shaped vessel looks and if you can see the small peak which is at the uh bottom of the vessel so when you have your ready immersion cell you can just tilt the vessel a little and you can slide the immersion cell into the vessel and it goes and it stays in the center so then this vessel is what you placed in the dissolution tester and then uh whatever your this so i'm adding 200 ml of dissolution media so you can add in 200 ml of dissolution media from the sides you can so then the setting up of uh, the protocol is similar to what we would do for a regular one and a two uh, dissolution tester in in the apparatus we have an option for uh, padded 45 so with with that option we make sure that the distance between the paddle and the bottom of the vessel stays 25 uh, mm so and then post that we we basically have to uh, just just start the test so basically we would do the same fashion we would do all the six uh, vessels and this is the cannula that uh, we have for sampling uh, from the immersion cell vessel basically this cannula will go in and it will just rest at the sampling zone that we have so the height can be adjusted for this cannula 
and then this cannula can be uh, connected to the syringe pump to the syringe pump and the sample collector which uh, ensures that we get automatic sampling.